Hey Gemini, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always. So sorry about the angle. Um, those of you who know what happened, they know. This will be the Akashic Tarot deck for the overall energy for August. So we'll pull one of these first. So this is Two of Scrolls two worlds so you could be apart from a soul soulmate now living you know two separate worlds here and um you could be very disappointed about this or they could be this could be how they're feeling um full of regret this lady in the um window here is making me feel like um you know, they're sad about living in separate worlds. So if this is not your energy, it could be the energy of your soulmate that, you know, um, you're really thinking about them at this time. So I'm going to use the mythical tarot deck for the main read here. So this is this deck here, the Gemini. Let's see, King of Swords. So here you are showing up first, very strong. Um, having something to say something you know you want to be very clear you want clarity um from somebody or you're going to be very clear with somebody you have a lot to say this is um wanting to talk at this time so maybe you want to talk about how you're feeling if it's you if it's you know you feeling that um you know you're unhappy without them you want to you want things to be clear um, I feel like you may be overthinking things or um, at this time. So you may be um, thinking like, you know, oh, they're with somebody else or something like that. And I don't think that's the case. If they was, um, they may no longer be with somebody else because here I see like um, this person's alone. It could be your soulmate thinking that you're with somebody else and wanting to reach out and come forward and speak to you there. Um, again, I'm sorry about the setup, um, and I have to keep looking down to read the cards. So let's see here. Eight of Wands, definitely wanting to speak to each other with these two cards, um, wanting to communicate, or oh, this is somebody finally communicating with you here. Um, I feel like you want to bring these two worlds into one. Um, and it seems like you've got over most of the obstacles here now with this Eight of Wands card because this is Pegasus taking flight over the obstacles. So I feel like you may have um, overcome most things now. So if you was angry before or if you was upset before, you may have overcome those things and you just want to clarify things with this person or vice versa. This could be the person's energy with you here. So somebody definitely wants to talk here. What do they want to talk about? Oh, like I say, bringing these two worlds together. Knight of Swords, careful, it doesn't turn into drama. This is like um, information or somebody coming in quickly here. But be careful, like I say, um, with the Knight of Swords, you may be like wanting to speak the truth or, um, you know, like I say, get clarity and things out there, but just be careful about rushing in. This is um, very fast energy with uh, the Eight of Wands and Knight of Swords here. It's definitely movement in the situation and communication coming in fast now. So here, I feel like, you know, it's like good intentions, pure intentions, but it could, um, you know, spark drama so be very careful to not be so quick you know you may feel like you have um all you may feel like you know everything with the king of swords energy um but maybe you don't and you know if you rush in and you don't have all the information it could go wrong and the sun is deciding to come out now and make my video go wrong how about that <laughs> So, yeah, it could be rushing in too quickly, not having all the information, even though you know your truth and things, you may not know the whole truth. So let's see here. Six of Cups, it's definitely with a soulmate and somebody wanting to return from the past. So they could be rushing towards you. I feel like um, 
it could be like, oh, I know they're with somebody else because maybe they left with somebody else or something here. Um, they took off with somebody else and now they want to come back. And you may feel like you know everything that went on, but you don't. So just be mindful of that, let's say, um, and not to overthink the situation. This is um, the Six of Cups, somebody from your past, somebody you have shared memories with, um, wanting to communicate with you. I feel like um, they're single. Um, maybe they wasn't before, but I feel like now um, they're remembering things with the Six of Cups and that Two World card. They're remembering what it's like to be in your world sort of thing and without you in their world there. So that's how they're feeling without you in their world. So they want to come and communicate that. So be open to listening as well, especially if you want clarity rather than talking. Two of Wands. Yeah, so it's like we at the moment while I'm recording this, it is, you know, the Lions get here. So it is 11 here is a very um, spiritual time where we'll get nudges from the universe to... Um, either make a decision, you know, are you going to come back or uh, is the other person going to move on with their life? So, you know, you may either have clarity like, look, I waited long enough, I'm going to move on with my life or this person may have been coming backwards and forwards and you've decided, look, um, you know, we're going to go our separate ways and we're going to split into two worlds sort of thing or we're either going to come together. It's like decision time. I feel here with this person. The hanged man, yeah. So if you've seen no movement here, it's because, like I said, they've been going over memories. They've been thinking here. So this is like them thinking and this is the memories here with the um, six of cups there. So they've been, they may have not been taken any action with the hangman there may have been the situation may have felt stuck um not moving forward and maybe that's why you came to the decision like look it's now or never you know speak now or forever hold your peace because i'm enlightened that's what the hangman is you know they they're enlightened now and they realize look i can't hang around forever so i feel like they're going to get a nudge from the universe to either come forward and speak their peace and if they don't, you're probably deciding, look, it's time for me to open up myself to a new soulmate here, you know, to move forward and, you know, um, take care of me, make new memories and things. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. So major changes here. Um you know, with the Ten of Pentacles. Tens are always about endings here. Um, so it's like it's either an end to this situation being stood still or you are deciding to close this door here that's been left open for them. So, you know, like I say, I'll explain it as many ways as I can because it's a general so it definitely feels like it's now or never, it's decision time. It's like I can't just be stuck hanging around. Five of Swords, yeah. You feel like um, it's just going to be lose-lose if I keep waiting around for this person. You know, it's like I'm not respecting myself. I'm not, um, you know, being fair to myself. I'm not loving myself, just waiting for somebody who I don't know what's going on with them. So if they communicate, fine. If they are going to, you know, keep this situation stuck still, I'm going to move forward on my path with the Two of Wands um, into a more stable relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so, yeah, it feels definitely like you'll have picked this energy up from Mars, this Five of Swords. And um, it could be that you find people could be argumentative with you as well during this time with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords. So 
people may be argumentative at this time and you know or they could be trying to fight for you to come back to them or stay with them or it could be your energy trying to um, fight for somebody here um, and if they're not participating in this fight to be in a relationship you may see um, an end to this like um, you're, you fighting for them or them fighting for you the lovers yeah so again definitely feels like um, a very divine love connection that will have taught you something but also brought healing so if you are still terribly heartbroken i wouldn't feel like this readings for you um but i feel like this is somebody who who has been on this spiritual path and now communication is coming in are we going to talk or am i going to move on sort of thing there's forward movement happening here and you'll probably find that it happens very quickly so you know you could have been during cancer season very um, still in your feelings, upset and felt like overcome with emotion. And then now we're in Leo season and, you know, you start to move forward and get that fiery energy to, um, you know, move forward and allow a new soulmate or a new connection to come in for you guys here. Um, it's like fed up of the situation being stuck still or just fed up of, always arguments going on you know it's like we've got to end this one way or another we've got to end this silence or we've got to end this arguing we've got to you know end this situation being stuck still i'm ready to move forward now like are, are we moving forward together it's like you're living two separate worlds two separate lives and it needs to come together or just finally um come to an end and here we have the empress so um some of you could be having babies um but here i feel like it's just coming into um you know a more positive vibration here because we have the king of swords we have the lovers card so we have all your energy in this reading and it shows that for you it will have a positive outcome, a positive new beginning. So it could give birth to this new relationship or, you know, um, we could, it could um, give birth to this new beginning, an abundant new beginning for you both here. Be careful that it isn't, you know, it doesn't take off too quickly. Um, but it seems like a new beginning is coming for you guys. Um, so, yeah, it could be, like I said, that, you continue to live in two separate worlds or bring your two worlds into one here so gemini good luck with that guys good luck <laughs> 